Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris as the Quillian Bureaucracy. Man, this sector's gotten really big, but it does have a pretty good leader, so it's gonna be fine. And as long as it's got enough resources to continue to upgrade things. Actually, I've got tons of materials. I wonder if I should... Yeah, I don't like it when they don't have any minerals, because it probably means they're not upgrading things. There you go. Let's keep them over a thousand. Uh, change of heart. What's this? Our expansion on Nigel... Prime has stabilized, and certain individuals have moved away from our view of the world. A group of spiritualists have begun to peacefully propagate uh, against our government. Uh, they see us materialist view of the cosmos, limiting us and distancing us from the stole. No, materialism is cool. Um, they're no threat. This would opinion respected. They'd get 25% happiness for 20 years, but the ethics extraction would go up. We could bribe their leaders. No pops convert to a new ethic, or we could spread propaganda to oppose them. We'll attempt to dissuade spiritualists pops, and promote materialism. Um, let's actively spread propaganda. Or something. Oh yeah, and you're in a sector, so you're just chill right now. Ooh, that's a pretty big war. No, I don't know who the Stellar League are. These little green guys. Okay, so they're about to get killed by the big purple blob. I guess these guys have had some stability problems, because they kept breaking off little bits of themselves. Or at least that's what it felt like. Um, let's queue up a bunch of blockers clearing first. Just because whatever. It'll give them room to um, to expand enough so that we can upgrade their central building so things can happen. Uh, okay, more wars being declared. See, these people are not pacifists. They should follow my example. I try to show them how often awesome pacifism is. But they just go and ignore it. Another change of heart. Oh! Ah! Attempt to re re at redirecting the parts of the population prone to oppose our core ideals have finally paid off. Propaganda machine has worked as promised. Not only spiritualists, but people of all persuasions are seeing reason, casting aside their former delusions in favor of materialism. 100% pop attraction towards materialists. Yes. Excellent. Wonderful. Got some cranky people still, but that's okay. Research complete. Um, engineering... I'll throw some physics in here too. Just to balance a little bit. What do you want? Sure, you can have one of these crystals, I don't care. What a research. Ah, oh, the enigmatic deflectors are done! Hooray! We have a lot of rare stuff that just came up. Capacitor fields. Oh, it's an uh, aura for shield regeneration per month. I don't know how much that matters in the battle. I don't care about the planetary shield generators. You know what? I think we'll get the better sensors. The tracking boost is actually really handy for shooting down little tiny things. And what we're going to do now is... Upgrades. I never did give some love to the transport ships. I think I'm just going to give them some bigger transportation speed and then uh, give them a cheap reactor there to balance that out. That's going to be okay. Um, just for the future. I suppose the colony ships could get the bigger speed boost too. Because that'll be handy. We could give them defenses and stuff, but I don't think that's worthwhile. Battleship. So, Mr. Battleship. Enigmatic Deflector. So, how much more expensive are these? So, Advanced Shields. There we go. So, that's um, Large Slot. 280, 50. Okay, so 40, 50, 280. So, a fair bit more power and a little bit more expensive, but man, that is so much more defensive. I mean, come on. How do you turn that down? Um, we're still in level 3 armor for now. I think we're researching the next one. Which I guess we'll need another round of upgrading. So the question becomes, do we not go quite as heavy with the shields? I guess these are all large slots, so I can't really tune the power usage maybe as much as I would like. Oh, there we go. Better hyperdrive stat. Hmm... Yeah, there's really not much to be done. Keep the rail guns because it's a good all-around thing. So we end up with a ton of excess power to burn. Well, I suppose what I could do to just to save money. You should use a level three in there. I guess so. Override you. Do do. These are just medium shield slots as well. I think it's probably worth throwing one of those in there and then... 
So we only have one armor plate. If there's too much shield piercing, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Still, I think that's okay. Uh, do we want to do all the designs? I guess we might as well. And of course, we're going to want everything to have the new hyperdrive. I guess it's not the thrusters that I should have been upgrading on the civilian designs. It's actually the uh, hyperdrive, probably. Let's do that. Um, and I guess we'll replace this small bit with like that. And there. And now you've got enough power for that. Okay. And you don't have enough juice. Uh, science ship. Okay, you're fine. Colony ship. No, you don't have any power left over. That's fine. Construction ship. There we go. Save. Done. Excellent. How much is this upgrade going to cost us? Only 2700 That's not bad. This is really mostly just the shield slots. There's not a huge energy cost difference. Ah, more points. So, private colony ship, I don't think I care about. I do like the extra unity, though. I think that's what we're going to rush for. Is the next bit that gives us energy from all the power generators. That's going to be a heck of a lot of unity. So you're going big. Yeah, we can't, we can't reach that planet. I keep checking it, but we can't reach it. Did we ever... No, we're setting that up now. The, um, the Frontier Outpost over here. So we are making influence again because we canceled all those defensive packs. Which, I mean, maybe I should have done before, but what else were we going to do with the influence? I mean, I guess I could have manipulated more of the factions or something like that. But, man, whatever. Whatever. So you do that. Oh, they're playing the, um, the Interstellar-inspired music. I like this one a lot. Ships are just chilling. I could build some more. I guess I probably will. Uh, I'll just keep building them here, because I've got all the extra modules and stuff, and that's quite handy. Um, the new sensors. Uh, oh, yeah, I could get the new ship sensors. Ah, another round of upgrades. Uh, and we can unlock the new reactors. This one will be very, 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 very expensive, though. Very expensive, and no discount. I might hold off on it. 47 months isn't the worst. Let me just get these shield capacitors, just burn through it real quick and see what else comes up. It'd be cool if we can get more robot stuff, although I think more of them are under engineering. Oh yeah, and we can wait until we get the Duro Steel armor for the next round of upgrades. I mean, it's fine that we did some upgrades now, although if we end up making too many changes, that actually could get slightly annoying because maybe I'll, I've paid for an upgrade that I'm just going to have to pull off again in a second. And that would be kind of crummy. What do you want? Sure, we can have active sensors. Um, oh, we've been forced to scrap most of our technological equipment due to major malfunction. Would the material scrap be of any use for you? We can repair it for more influence. I'll just take the minerals, it's fine. Okay, so you got nothing that you need. You've got nothing that you need unless we start transforming things. You can use an upgrade there. Excellent, thank you for finishing that. Go ahead and build all the mining stations, all the research stations, all the mining stations, and all the research stations. Yeah, I think that was well worthwhile. Research. Gaia creation is done! Okay, which, I don't know, does, does it just, what is Gaia? Is it just 100% habitability for all types? Ooh, leader enhancement, selected lineages. While active, so this is a policy. While active, leader experience gains increased, lifespans increased, they're more expensive to recruit. Um, whatever. I'll take that. It'll be an interesting option. We may or may not, like, turn it on. Maybe we'll turn it on when we're doing a bunch of scientist recruitment next time they die en masse. Which has been known to happen. We're just orbiting there. Is that... Oh, we don't have the ship, this fleet set as a rally point. We should definitely do that. Construction complete. Dura steel armor. Excellent. More minerals, more thrusters, reveal, resource, that's explosive web. It's really cheap, though. 
more evasion is really good. The other thing that would be fun to do is unlock all the carrier stuff, but I think the thrusters are probably good. And again, might be another upgrade that we want on all our ships. We might wait for that. What? Did I build this when I meant to do colony ships at some point? That sounds like something I have done a great many times. Or, oh! Was I trying to build battleships and I click construction ship? That's probably what happened there. Okay. That's fine. Didn't really cost as much. A little silly, but it's not a big deal. Shield capacitors done. What? Omega alignment. Oh yes, we've seen this before! We had a hard choice to make at the time. Uh, governing eth ethics attraction is good. That's good. Hyperdrive, good. But you know what? We're going to go for this at this point. It's a rare. We've been lucky enough to see it twice. Building this all over the place would be quite nice. I don't know if we'll retroactively replace some of our things, but we'll see. There you go. So you two. There you go. You can merge up now. And you are still set as a rally point now. Yes? Yes, you are. Good. Okay. Construction ship here is just constructifying. That's excellent. Still wicked amounts of extra food. Um, in our fleet, how are we doing? We've still got 24 destroyers, that's fine. Yeah, I think we can probably just focus strictly on battleships here, that's gonna be fine. Um, queuing up like that isn't great, because it means you're not using your minerals for something else, but it's not like we have that much to use our minerals on right now anyway. Uh, I don't think we need two upgrades to unlock everything. Surface. Need some love. We don't need food. Uh, minerals are good. Science is good. Build mines on top of there. Actually, probably mines on all the things that have minerals. That's probably okay. And then just science the crap out of everything. Do we have the... No, we don't have the super engineering thing. We're researching that now. Obviously, we want to zoo there, although we can't do it yet. Um, I still will want the Unity Monument, so let's just queue that up for now, and then we'll figure out what comes up next. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. All right, I was going to check. How's your science here? Um, it's not great, but you know what? Nope, not that. Observatory. There we go. Same thing here. Your science is better. So I would like you to build uh, an observatory. Thank you very much. Stellar fleet. We're now at 34k. Actually, it's going to be 35k with this. Um, every one of our battleships adds 1,000. That's great. That's great. Um, oh, our research deal over here expired. I'd probably like to keep that going. Yeah. There we go. Could have gotten a little bit of energy out of it, but hardly worthwhile. We are now capped on energy credits. Okie dokie. So, I mean, we've already... Is Curator Insight running? No. There it is. We definitely need to check to see whenever that runs out, because that's a really important one to have. You want Terraform Liquids? Sure. See, I'm nice like that. Oh, right, so guy and homeworld stuff. Um, maybe? Construction complete. You could have an observatory. Hang on. Um, Stellaris Wiki Guy uh, World. Mm -hmm. Guy World will also always feature. 100% habitability for any species and contains various special resources and generally only beneficial modifiers. Well, that's if you find a guy world. Make it the best habitable world. However, holy guardians consider some of these worlds holy, easily identifiable by their special names, so that's different. So, this will just make a planet 100%. If that's something we care about. But a lot of these are going to be mostly 100% for everyone anyway. And that's an example of 90%. 90% is not bad, though. I don't know if I care about tweaking it. Although, we have seen that some people can be at, like, 97% happiness, apparently, right now. We're, like, just that good. I should actually send my fleet to, um, to the headquarters. 
because that's where I'm building ships, and then that'll make the rallying a little simpler. Leader enhancement, selected lineages. Okay, so we can enable that whenever we want. We can get more trait points. Robot resource output. Well, that's not bad. Let's go and keep getting trait points. So, right now, are we breaking even on our traits yet? No, we're still at minus one. It's kind of funny, but we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can use for other... We've got other species. We've got the Sign and the Sabin within our Empire. Maybe we can genetically modify them with bonus traits. It's kind of funny if they are the ones that get, like, more love. Um, are you within my borders? Yes, you are, but you're not within the public... Okay, that's important to note. The public relations sector... I'm going to add this so that hopefully your construction ship gets sent over there now. Because, well, I suppose I could build my own construction ship here. If this one is being too static. You have an FDL inhibitor. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and build a construction ship manually and then go and hook up over there. That's taking forever for our borders to get out there because otherwise I would have checked. Migration proposal... Sure. I'm fine with that. See, I'm a friendly guy. Everyone knows that. Incoming transmission. Sure. That's fine, too. So, yeah, you can just go and return to the closest starbase, which will be the one in the headquarters, which is fine. You're building battleships. Okay, you... You're going to get the ship upkeep decrease. That's okay. We could unlock the cruiser yard and then build it, say, at the QR department. And build just cruisers there. Impulse thrusters. That's more possible upgrades. Uh, hello, synthetics. That's what we want. Synthetic pops, which are better at all the things. And it's going to lead to interesting problems, and I'm okay with that. Including with our neighbors here, who still have a superior force to me. But we're working on it. We're working on it. Uh, this planet... Oh yeah, we've built a whole bunch of buildings. Oh, some people are migrating here, so that's going to be okay. Um, what's your, your habitability here? Max happiness is 70%, and people have moved here. I'm wondering if it's worth uh, terraforming this one. It's not a very big planet. You know what? I'm gonna do it. It's gonna. We've got energy to spare. We're gonna get a guy in world. Maybe there's like um, some sort of event that'll fire if that's the case. So this construction ship here, you're gonna go and research station and mining station. Could build a defensive thingy here too or something. But we're all right. Da 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 da. We do have to discount the terraforming cost. Presumably this, like, stacks and is making the guy in transformation not totally insane. I suppose we could have taken the thing to make... Now that's all of a sudden interesting. With the guy in transformation, maybe it makes a lot of sense to grab that, um... That ascension perk. So I took this. First of all, I thought it was next to two fallen empires. <clears throat> I should have taken the robot fighting one. <clears throat> oh well. Or the terraforming one. Either one, we're gonna be fine. Uh, oh, you've been destroyed by your enemies. You know, we have some, definitely have some people blobbing out. People are guaranteeing each other. Uh, would you like to purchase the building? Oh! Ministry of Culture. Country Unity Production. The whole country? Okay, it's a deal. I think we've got one of those, like, fancy buildings we could build somewhere. Do we have anywhere making food? You've got that, and is that it? Yes. Cafeteria. Are you still making food? No. Like, the cafeteria literally makes no food anymore, which is kind of entertaining to me. How far we've come. See, this art monument. Oh, no more of... Okay, so we've already got it somewhere. It just shows up in the list. I was like, are we never meeting this? Ministry of Culture. So, Empire Modifier. Well, okay, clearly we need the Empire Modifier to be kicked in here. Boom, and uh, you have a fair number of minerals, so a processing plant is good. And you have 
I did build all the cloning and everything here, right? I mean, it's not in the list, so I must have. So get a science lab there. That's going to be fine. We are not researching. Quantum destabilizer is what? Oh, it's an offensive aura to reduce enemy fire rate. That's pretty good, and it's a rare resource, so we're going to go for that now. I mean, we want the advanced combat role, attacking on sensors, all these things. But hey, we even have a discount to this, so let's definitely get that. Um, our So we need... So is there another bigger ship type that gives us the auras? I don't remember. Is there something bigger than battleship, or have things changed? Uh, we've been approached by delegation. It seems they have Empire fallen a hard time. Yeah, let's go ahead and improve relations by giving them, like, a fraction of a fraction of our money. This construction ship. So you're all done. Good. You can go and be disbanded again. Good work. You oh, have some stuff to build over here, actually. I think there's probably... I don't know if we've got all the tech for the increased border or not. There's one of the Ascension perks for it as well. We could do that. So, I mean, with the Gaian transformation, it really becomes tempting if there was anything that was big. But we've... I mean, at this point, we can basically... We've basically been able to colonize all planets for a long time. Are you in our borders? No, you're not. Because this is the hex right over here. Just outside our borders. It looks like the planet it is, but that's just our viewing angle. That's the way it goes. Research complete. Trade points, plus one. Um, let's go ahead and take the army. I keep just, just quickly cycle that. That's pretty cheap tech. Oh, expired trade agreement with these guys. I think they're being beat up right now, but they still have some text that I don't. Boom. Let's do it. 43,000 military uh, research agreement. Sure. Or is that... That's the one I offered. Derp, derp. It looks... Oh, God. I don't like those pop-ups for the diplomacy. I find it very odd the way they decide to implement that. Oh, Hazard Star League has been destroyed. Oh, well. I guess we're not getting any more research agreements with them. Or, you know, there's like 15 different Hazard things. Who knows who's who's who. Upgrade, upgrade. Science. Science lab, upgrade. Society research. Sorry, which one was this? Quantum destabilizer? No, that's different. Okay, yeah, we, I was going to say, we don't have the droids, though, right? That's what I'm looking at for. Um, governing ethics traction. I mean, we'll go ahead and find if we've got that resource. That sounds fine. And I'm going to go ahead and grab artificial moral, morale codes because it's a one-time thing. We'll just deal with it. I don't think we'll be implementing the, the, the robot manipulation stuff, but I don't know. Who knows? It'll really be interesting to see what happens when we get uh, the synthetics in here. That will retroactively upgrade our robots, right? Like, the droids will become synthetics? I think so. Damn synth. Spirit of science. We... want that here. And maybe here. And definitely here. Are you... Is this a cafeteria? No. Come on, zoom. Zoom. Yeah, you're at cafeteria. You're at headquarters, which is good. You're at this lab, which actually doesn't make that much science, necessarily. Um, Bureau of Ships would be much better. You. Assist research at the Bureau of Ships instead. We've got a new tradition. I want to take this one here for a lot more unity from all of our energy grids and energy nexuses. Nexi. I mean, you can only have one per planet, but we've got a handful of them. And so that's going to be nice. Are you... You're all good. You're a little cranky. But yeah, if we can get more of the ethics things... And I suppose what we could do is actually just run some propaganda campaigns. Uh, what do we need right now? It looks like we need to swing a little bit more towards physics. Uh, 
upgrade the central building. Move a loop. I'll move the Frontier Clinic as well. Uh, what was this? Artificial morale codes. Or moral codes, I should say. Ministry of Benevolence. That is an empire-wide bonus. Yep, okay. I like those. Treaty ran out. Uh, oh, new chairman. Negotiations. Um, whoops. Oh. Fucking hell. I was going to go and, and take the guy with the pro-science. Then realize it wasn't paused while I was reading all the options. Man. What is this guy? Pro-food? Hold an emergency election. I don't know if I'm going to do that. The artist trip. Hey, where's your dude? No, no. We want to continue that. can't believe there wasn't a dude there. Also, I can't believe how much food my goddamn sectors are making. Seriously, you people are crazy. Well, plus the modifier, the plus 10%. Um, governing ethics attraction, synchronized defense. Right, that's an, a station gets a boost. You know what's cheap? We don't need the hyper shields. We're good on shields for the rest of the game, really. Like, this is almost the same cost as my current shield. Same cost, a little less energy usage, but not as strong shield-wise. I mean, we could go down more laser tech, but we don't need that right now either. The building cost is nice, but no. We'll just take this. We might use it, we might not. It'll recycle quickly in five months. We'll see a new list of options here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have a bunch of things. We are not quite at our force limit, so... Boom. Are these the gas clouds? Are these the farts? Spring cleaning. Would you be willing to do us a favor? The strong gravity well pulls in all kinds of trash in our atmosphere. Recent council meeting decided to step our cleaning efforts. One of our reclamation units come across a discarded cargo pod. Wondering if you're willing to help us dispose of it. It seems to contain a large quality of various worthless metals. Oh. Sure. We'll take some minerals. That sounds fine. The two living metal. No one's been interested in trading. That's fine. Monthly mega structure build speed. Monthly hull regeneration. Is that like all global? All my ships regenerate hull for free now? Without having to put that silly component on there? We'll maybe start using shield capacitors instead. You are missing... Uh, science lab. Synchronized defense. All right. Um, yeah, the new reactors for the ships are probably key. Capacitor fields are really cheap. Oh yeah, it's just regeneration. No, no, the the reactors are insanely important. Let you cram a lot more stuff onto your ship. I mean, we can replace our reactors on some of our current ships. Maybe fit in a, another shield or at very least another armor. That would be really good. Uh, this construction ship is totally idle. And it's possible there's something within our borders that we can do. Oh, right here. And here. Whoops, not a frontier outpost. Ah, oh, fuck. I've got to redo the whole queue now. Halt. Go there. Go there. It's only one engineering research, but that's okay. And then go there. And then you're still not within my borders. You're just a tease. Ha United Hazar Stars declares war on Zirin, United States. United Stars, Zirin, United States. Okay, that's a big mega war. That is a substantial and important war. What I should be doing is check my neighbors, like this big one, and see, like, what's your actual fleet strength compared to mine? Inferior, pathetic. So I could just switch back over to being a militarist and take over the universe if I wanted to. That's good to know. Synthetics. All right, now we're going to see what these guys think of me. Minus 40 pursuing, because that's getting more serious here. All right. Highly advanced robots that are stronger, faster, and more durable than the vast majority of organics. With their upgraded neural processors, they are capable of independent operations. Um, that's good. Everything's fine. Yeah, we're going to take that because it's fast and maybe we won't do carrier stuff. But more importantly, we are going to recognize right away, finally, that our robots have full citizen rights. And what's important about this is one of these guys, alien awareness. 
have been cranky about species-wide slavery the entire game because, as it turns out, and this is almost certainly a bug, they counted the alien or artificial intelligence servitude as being slavery. So now we're going to give them full citizen rights. Cannot be enslaved or disassembled. That's fine for 10 years. So now, in theory, these guys, there you go. They're no longer being bothered by no species-wide stuff, so their happiness goes up higher. So we get some more influence. Hooray! So it's just been a problem the entirety of the game. So, why is the science ship being idle? Were you actually checking something out? Were you coming here? No, you were You were going to go somewhere else to assist. Were you not? Bureau of Ships. I send you to Bureau of Ships. Oh, you're here. No, never mind. Oh, you don't have a scientist! You died it! Sentient AI assistant. Okay, that is actually really very good. Obviously, we want this scientist, but we don't want him in a ship. We want him here. So this guy can get that leader and then can come here and assist research. Cheers. Thanks. Okay. Um, I mean, the thing is, we're never going to advance the precursors. Construction complete. Or are we? Oh, yeah, no. Derp, derp, derp. That's showing me the ones that are complete. We need, like, we need access rights through other people's territory. Because that's probably where the artifacts are. Hmm. I don't know. It's fine. Everything's okay. Uh, we've got, you know, maybe some sentient robots. It's going to be all right. No, no, nothing's come up over here. Everything's okay. Everything's cool. Um, out of curiosity, if we were going to take a look at our world over here, you are since nice and red in the face. That's not scary at all. Member of the Ac 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 Academy of Technocratic Reform. Which, luckily, they're very happy with me. You want more research agreements? Well, we've been trying to maintain it. Oh, I'm actually over my, uh, my fleet limit here. Um, which is fine, but let's go ahead and halt that. I'm not going to go and tear anything down. We're going to keep what we've got. So, 52,000. How does this compare? Equivalent fleet power. Come at me, bro. Please, it's going to be fun and exciting, and I can't start wars. Have, have pity on me. Come start some wars, buddy. I'd just be so happy. Ten pops for the next level. But do we have the zoo? Or that's the next one still? Zuno Zoo. There it is. Subterranean refugees. Okay, we'll send them back. Apparently we had no option there. Maybe if we were a different type of thing, we'd have a different option. You have a lot of minerals, so we'll get a mineral processing plant. Certainly. Certainly. Um... This is not going to be an energy place, apparently. It's all going to be science, and I guess that's going to have to be okay. At least the synths haven't started uh, reproducing themselves. Um, yeah, we're going to take this to get the last level up for all the, uh, the different science labs so that we can max out our science as quickly as possible. I mean, we are teching pretty fast here, especially compared to a lot of our neighbors. I don't know when, like, the end world, end game... Oh, Arc 20, size 20 Arctic world. Did we know about this? I guess we did know about this. You know what? At this point, I think it's going to be a good idea to colonize this. Um, we'll colonize with you first. We'll go ahead over here. That's going to be fine. You're already within a sector. That's going to be okay. We might terraform you. Make it easier to do things. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's going to be okay. I mean, we could just colonize everywhere. 
this point and basically just only build science buildings. Because we probably would come out ahead tech-wise, but I don't know. Starts to be a lot of micro. You got that. How are we doing over here? You can use some upgrades. Um, doesn't really matter which we go. Let's go some physics. And you... I think it's all going to be science. We really don't need any food. That being said, we might want to go and... Ooh, Galactic Benevolence. Ministry of Benevolence. Oh, yes. And new research... We... Hmm. Actually, you know what? The habitability bonus is still nice because our people are spreading between different worlds because they can support it, which is actually kind of handy dandy. Uh, you can go physics. So, since we don't care about the food here. Oh, this has to be in the capital. The Omega alignment. And I think I would want that to be built. So, anyway, I was trying to think, I think, whether or not I would still be building these Paradise Domes. I don't need the food, but it's probably worth having some of that in there. And then, yeah, you can just science. So, on my homeworld, what are we going to replace? I guess one of the science labs. I don't suppose one of these has... There we go. Physics already. And you're just getting a massive output multiplier from all our crap going on, which is so good. So you can build the Omega alignment, and the Ministry of Benevolence presumably also has to be built in our capital? That's just a food base. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. It means less science here, and this is somewhere we're assisting, though. Unless I just eat this mineral. You know what? Let's just eat the mineral. That's fine. And let the droid work it? I don't see how a problem, but we'll, we'll, tr we'll swap the, uh, the Tranquillion over there. Just in case it, it does a thing. I think that makes sense. Upgrade. Why are you so unhappy? Well, you're part of some other faction. Sacred traditions, right. You hate robots. Well, listen. When the robots take over the, the universe, I don't want to be on the wrong side of history, my friend. Um, because you're going to be the first one up against the wall when that happens. Um, but the, 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 the solar panel network. The end and the beginning. Oh! Wait, is this the whole the whole warp stuff is coming around? There's a consciousness outside time and beneath space. Oh, we gotta put a cut in here. You know what? We're gonna do that, and I'm gonna read this one next time. Thanks for watching. See you then.